Tam fam. I hope you're enjoying all of our videos and enjoying, of course, the show. Now, don't forget to click to subscribe and make sure you click the bell to receive notifications for all of our new videos. In fact, I am clicking to subscribe and I'm going to receive the note. Oh, I got a notification right now. All right. See you soon. I have to ask you about James. And I am not one to pry into relationships, having kept a whole pregnancy secret for 32 weeks. But James, you, you are booed up with him. Y'all are cooking, uh, sharing it on social media. Tell me about this. Are you falling deeper in love with this man? You know, the quarantine has made me realize a lot of things. If me and James could be together and he doesn't die from my cooking, we're meant to be together. He is my boo. He is my um, my my partner. And I want oh. that for all women. Um, as people know, in the book, I talk about how I met James later in my life. I don't want people to give up. Never give up on love because you never, ever know. But you know, Lonnie, I remember when you went public with your relationship and all of these, you know, blogs, Lonnie Love confesses her. She has a white man and having a husband who's Jewish. I totally understand that that jump into explaining to people that you are unapologetically black. You're an unapologetic black woman. And this is a person who you happen to fall in love with. I don't know why people think that because you're black and if you date someone outside the race that you're not going to be for your people still. I only hang with people that are for me and my people. But I would never be with somebody that wouldn't support, you know, what I support, which is um, equality for my people to make sure that injustices are fought. I would never do that. And I think we are all learning about that. Going back to the book, you know, you talk about I tried to change so you don't have to. You've been married before. Um, that was a part of your journey. You've tried marriage. Is that something you would try again? No, there's no need for me to be married because I'm an independent woman. I'm not anti-marriage, but I think that everyone has to decide, especially women, where they want to be in life. And as a stand-up comic, I did the role for over 20 years. I had to realize that, you know, hey, um, if I'm going to be married, that's a whole different lane that I have to take. I chose a different lane. And one of the things we discuss around here is that people forget the pages that it takes to make someone like you. We can look at the cover, we can look at the ending, but all that in the middle, it's T.D. Jakes who often says, you know, people want to be you, but do they want to experience what you went through? And for you, at 17, your mother kicked you out of the house. You had to live in your car. What did that time in your life teach you? Just because things aren't happening right now for you, that doesn't mean that you can't get through it. And so it's a wonderful story of how I got out of that situation, how I went from making 500 cars a day to actually going to college and getting an engineering degree. There's so many things about me that people don't know. They just see me on certain shows, like they saw me from the real, but they don't know my journey. How did you find that inner fortitude, knowing that you were the underdog? You are not, I am not the kid that people were going to bet on. Well, for me, I found it through humor. Be even before I knew I was going to be a stand-up comic, I just had levity in my life. I always looked at things differently. I tried to find the humorous side of things. And I'm not in competition with anybody else. The only person I'm in competition with is with myself. 